No one could be prouder of his boys than I am of you guys. Only the brave. You know, when I think about it, the title of this movie is perfect. I couldn't think of anything better than that. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. I want to thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Only the Brave by Sony Pictures. I really do appreciate it. But before I get into the review, please help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you can be notified and go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, Only the Brave is being put out by Sony. This is based on a true story of the Granite Mountain hot shot firefighters and before i even get into the review again i just want to just let everybody know i have such a high respect for men and women around the world that fight fires i mean that is just like so dope to me like i, I respect all of you thank you so much for what you do for putting your life on the line i mean you don't have to do, you're risking your life for strangers running into burning buildings or running burning forests or burning whatever not knowing if you're going to live or die and I, I respect this so all the men and women out there that have sacrificed thank you very much now this is based on a true story um that happened a number of years ago i didn't know much about this story until the trailers came out and i did react to it if you would like to see my reaction, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and just look at my videos. It is there. Unfortunately for me, a a-hole did ruin the ending for me. I'm probably they probably just assume that I no, they know I didn't know the ending of it because they, they ruined the ending for me, you know, in my reaction video. But I'm not going to do that for you. Uh, but this cast right here, or before I talk about the cast, let me talk about the director. It's being directed by Joseph Kozinski. Um, he did Tron Legacy that came out in 2010, which was a sequel to the 80s version. And I was pretty disappointed with that film, other than the soundtrack by Daft Punk, I believe. The soundtrack was lovely. I mean, like, seriously. Uh, back in the day when I was working out, it's been a while. That was something that did give me kind of pump when I was running or in the gym or whatever. Great soundtrack. He also did Oblivion, uh, which had Tom Cruise a few years after that. And I really did like that film. Not too many other people did. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but I enjoyed it. And now he is doing only the brave. And for the most part, he knocked this film out of the park. The cast is phenomenal. You got Josh Brolin. You got Jeff Bridges. You got Miles Teller. Um, you got Jennifer Connelly and you also have Taylor Kitsch and the acting from all these prominent actors and actresses is just top notch. Uh, it's from the very first frame of this movie. You get a sense of love and family like these guys really do love in each other to death. Uh, on this fire team and I really also love the relationship between Jeff Bridges and this is a true story like I said but uh, not Jeff Bridges but Josh Brolin and Jennifer Connelly's role in this film they are a married couple and they felt like a real married couple I've never been married before but my parents have been married for a long time and all the bickering that you know goes on back and forth that was on the forefront of this picture and I really did like it I really did appreciate it there was a sense a real deep sense of realism to their relationship and when they're going through what they're going through and you know I don't blame them I mean like I was just sitting there myself like yeah I mean this just seems so real and you know they're bringing it to life you know with their acting and um, you know it was great uh, like I said, all the other actors was great as well. They all come from different walks of life. And like I said, I really did feel a good sense of camaraderie between these firemen. And well, there wasn't any fire women in this, um, but I really did get a good sense of, uh, you know, the camaraderie that they had, the bond that these men had, you know, uh, between each other. I also did learn a lot about fi fighting fires. I've never fought a fire before, but towards the beginning of the film, it was so cool. They had like. I, I guess in th this took place in Arizona. Um, there also was some firemen that came out of California. I believe Josh Brolin's role. He's playing someone named Eric Marsh. I think he said he was from uh, Carolina or South Carolina. I could be wrong. Maybe he was just making a reference to something else. But what was cool about it in Arizona, I guess they just have this set up to where if you have a pool and, you know, a fire fire people firemen and women they want to come borrow some water they had like a helicopter come with like a giant vacuum and suck the water out the pool and just kind of go off 
And I'm not, I'm not, this is not really a spoiler, but as they was doing it, the owner of the house just came my side and was like, you know, saluting the people in the helicopter and kind of gave them a thumbs up like, yeah, go ahead, take as much water as you need. You know, and I, I just really do like that, the, the humanity that was in that scene like that, just like, look, you know, we're in this together. You know, I know you're going to take good use of my water. It is yours, you know, have it, do what you can to save lives. And I really did like that. I mean, like it was a strong sense of camaraderie and love. And there was just also a great sense of humanity as well. And the uh, the bond between the firemen was just great. Um, I love how honest they were, uh, you know, with each other. And the way they acted, portrayed that on screen was, um, you know, was splendid. It was spectacular. Um, something, you know, I did learn a little bit about fires and then the way they fight fires. And like, like they, I mean, it was just so cool how. You had different people doing different things and you had your lookout and you had the people over here. But the lookout, they just would sit there on a hill on a mountaintop and just stare at the fire. Sometimes for just a few minutes, sometimes for hours, for days and try to predict where it's going to go. And that can be very hard to predict with unforeseen weather, especially when you have a bunch of wind going around. I mean, the fire can be blown any way. But for the most part, it just always seemed like they had a plan or a backup plan or a contingency plan to fight these fires. And of course, you had to deal with egos and, you know, per different personalities like that. And people got into it. But that's just normal, you know, and it just really did feel like real people, you know, on screen. Like I, I like I did not see an actor in Josh Brolin or Jennifer Connelly. I felt like these were the real people because they just were just doing such a great job on screen, you know, putting this together. Um, something that I wish would have been explained a little bit better from like, you know, a layman like myself that just doesn't understand how fire, how you can fight fires, because sometimes they were actually like lighting fires and they had like torches with gas and stuff like that. They were lighting fires to, you know, fight the fire. Of course, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not going to sit here and say that's stupid. You know, why are you doing that? I'm not a professional, so I'm sure they had a valid reason for you know doing these actions with lighting fires with their torches uh but i as a as someone that just didn't know much about it i was sitting there kind of confused i mean another tactic that they used of course was they would draw lines in the sand or the dirt or whatever and that made sense to an to a degree for me uh, but at the same time, this is a true story. It's not like a movie. So I, I was sitting there. I was like, well, it really wouldn't make sense if somebody just came in in a white coat and just explained everything to somebody. I mean, that's that's just not logical. They could have stressed the truth a little bit, but I was just kind of sitting here like, OK, maybe they just don't have an opportunity to do that. I mean, even if they had a new recruit coming in and they were just trying to fight fires, they could have had a scene like, OK, maybe, yeah, this is we fight fires like this because of this and da, da 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 but at the same time given the situation no these are like elite firemen so they're not just gonna you know bring someone in off the street that doesn't know anything and actually they did do that but um with miles teller with miles teller miles teller's character uh but i don't know i mean i was just kind of confused like, okay why are they doing that um there was also a great sense of danger in the film i did you know feel like okay man are they gonna live or they're gonna die i don't know this is gonna be a happy ending and whether it is or isn't i'm not gonna say you're just gonna have to see the movie for yourself um because i just don't like sp spoiling movies for people and also the soundtrack or the score for this movie was great too it was very moving and it fit well within the rest of the picture just another graph that I had the sometime the transition of time to me was a, just a little bit sloppy towards the end, beginning of the movie, not towards the end of the movie. I mean, they were able to provide subtitles with, you know, three months later, nine months later, three years later, et cetera. But towards the beginning, I would just really just, you know, I really wasn't a fan of the transition of time. It did come across a little confusing for me. But overall, guys, like um, I, I went to go see this uh, uh, with my mother and, you know, we try to catch movies uh, together, you know, at least once a month, you know, something like that. And she wasn't really wanting to see the film at first. But afterwards, she was, you know, in tears, a little, not in tears, but, you know, a little sniffles and a little teardrop here and there. And she's like, you know, Brandon, thank you so much. I do recommend you. Um, I do appreciate you recommend, recommending. Man, I can't talk this movie to me. I didn't want to see it at first, but I'm so glad I saw it. So that's just a testament of how good the movie is, because it really is good. It really is one of the better films. Not the best, not remotely. I won't say the best. Uh, that review comes up next. Um, but it is one of the better films of the year. If I had to rate 
Uh, only the Brave out of a 1 out of 10. I would easily give this a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen... I forgot the name of the movie. Only uh, only the Brave. Do you want to see it? Wait a minute. Is that the, Why am I forgetting the name of the movie? Only the Brave, yeah. Do you want to see it? I mean, do you not want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get all the content that I have to provide. Also, click the bell so you'll be notified when I do make uploads. You can also go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews too. And also, guys, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all that good stuff and i really made it so at the bottom of your screen and i also made it even easier because i provided a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for only the brave by sony pictures starring josh brolin jeff bridges jennifer connelly miles teller and taylor kitsch directed by joseph kaczynski and before you go guys don't forget that my name is brenda keith avery and that's just my opinion peace